Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a Python program which will detect cat faces for you. Okay, so before writing this program, you need a few things to be done. First of all, you need to install the package which we'll use for this project which is OpenCV. So just open command prompt and write pip install OpenCV Python. Okay, press enter and this package will be installed for you. Now the second task is to download the har cascade for the feature on which you are doing the project. So for this video we'll be doing cat face recognition. So we'll download this har cascade this one. I'll provide the link for this github repository of OpenCV as well as my github repository in which both this har cascade as well as the python program that we'll create in this video will be present okay so it will become a bit easier for you so now let's go to our notebook to write our code okay so now we are into our editor so our first task is to import the required library which is opencv okay so now let's create a face cascade uh, variable in which our har cascade features will be stored. Make sure that this har cascade file is present in the same folder where your python file is present. Okay so now our next task is to load the image on which we are gonna perform this operation. So let's create an image variable and then we'll use cv.imread uh, method to read that image file. For me, it is face2, uh, face1.jpj. Uh, and now what we'll do is we'll convert this color image into black and white image. Now, why we are doing so? Because in black and white image, the feature recognition is a much easier as compared to the color images now you can do the same by uh, by just writing zero here but i want to display the image in colored form that is why i am not reading the file as black and white i am reading this as simple colored image and then converting it to black and white in this step okay okay so now let me explain you what is happening here we have created a variable in which our pixel intensity will be stored and then we are using cv2.cvt color function here to convert the colored image into black and white image so the first parameter here is the image colored one and then we are using cv2.color bgr is blue green red to grayscale Okay, so now let's actually apply this face cascade into our grayscale image. So we'll create a faces variable. Okay, so now let me explain you what is happening here. We have created a faces variable in which the coordinates of the features will be stored. I will explain you on the image that how these things are happening just wait for a second so we are using this face cascade the variable that we have defined here having the cascade value dot detect multi scale we are simply saying that from these features the features present in this xml file you need to match whether those features are present in this gray image or not so there are three parameters present for this detect multiscale function. First is the image, which is the grayscale uh, gray variable. And second is the scale factor. Now, the scale factor is a pretty complex term, but I'll try to explain you this in very short. Scale factor defines that how accurate your detection will be by zooming in or zooming out of the photo. Okay. Now, lesser the scale factor value is, it cannot be less than 1, it cannot be 1, it has to be greater than 1. So, lesser the scale factor value is, more is the 
accuracy of the features detected now you must be wondering why don't we keep it like very small but the catch is that if we decrease the value there will be some noise that will also be detected as a feature like a shadow which appears like a cat face will also be detected as a cat face if we decrease this value to be very small okay now the third factor is min neighbor it defines the minimum amount of neighboring features around that specific feature okay now let me print this face value and show you that what is the actual output of this command so we'll print the name as well as the type so we'll print the uh, value as well as the type of this faces uh, variable so let's run this and we are having an error uh, saying that just a second has no attribute as detect multi scale because this s should be capital okay so this is what happens with such complex function names so there you go it is a numpy n dimension array and these are the coordinates for your photos now let me uh, show you the photo on which we'll be doing this experiment so this is our cute looking cat and these values define just a second these values defined first the starting x axis and y axis let's say the face of the cat starts from here let me zoom in so just a second so let's say that the face of the cat starts from here starts from here so this is 75 of x axis and 45 of y axis okay so this is the coordinate from which the face is starting and the width is 120 and the height is 120 so this is how the rectangle will be drawn with 75 comma 45 as x and y coordinate and 120 as width and 120 as height okay so i'll show you that how that square will be plotted on this face just wait for a second so we'll comment this out because we don't need this actually so as you know we have four values here first is x-axis second is y-axis third is width and fourth is height so for x comma y comma width comma height in faces uh, this variable name we'll uh, edit our image uh, which is having the data of our original colored cat photo so we'll edit that we'll actually draw a rectangle using cv2 dot rectangle okay so now we are done here let me explain you so for x y width and height in our faces variable we are drawing the rectangle and these are the parameters first is the image second is the x and y axis and third is x plus w which is this width and y plus h which is the height okay so this and this and this is how the whole rectangle will be formed with the height and width okay and the third and fourth parameter are for the rectangle color we are gonna draw a green color rectangle so zero for blue g will be 255 and red will also be zero now you can take any color you want i want to draw a green color rectangle and the last parameter is the width of the rectangle that we are gonna draw okay so three is just okay now our program is almost done we just need to show our image into a GUI okay so we have used cv2 dot show to print our image the first parameter is the name of the window and second parameter is the 
content inside the window which is our image and this is wait key which means that this window will close as soon as that cross button is pressed okay so let's save this and let's run this okay so we are having an error uh, because this should be I am show and again it's having no as wait key because I guess this K is capital uh, yeah I guess so there you can see this is our cute looking cat having a green color rectangle to its face now you can experiment with as many cat faces as you want you have to tune your parameters here if you are dealing with a very noisy background and you'll be good to go okay so this is it this was a short video in which we have seen how to detect cat faces in an image okay so this is just the starting of my open cv projects because in my previous laptop i was having some problem with open cv but now i got my new laptop and open cv is working just perfect so some new and awesome projects on open cv will be coming up soon okay so stay tuned and i'll meet you in my next lecture bye bye